It's been almost impossible lately for me to get some penny boxes to hunt, mainly because I keep getting brand new uncirculated ones. Luckily, however, this week, I was able to pick up three penny boxes and I could tell from the holes in the bottom that they were circulated. So stay tuned for episode 44, boxes 74 and 75 of this penny hunt and album fill series. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure and welcome back to my channel. I am super stoked today, mainly because it has been like 8 or 9 or 10 days since the last time I was able to do a penny hunt and fill episode. And I finally have some boxes. I actually have a third box, but we're going to save it until I get another box and make it another two hunt episode. But after we finish today's hunt, we'll have 75 boxes down. And I want to make a quick reminder that if you've missed the first 73 boxes or 43 episodes of the series, to consider checking out the playlist, I have linked both down below as well as pinned up here. That way you don't spoil where we're at on the album. For those caught up, we are sitting now at 183 spots filled in this album through just coin roll hunting and after 73 boxes. Still struggling on the early stuff as expected, but man, we are doing good. And the more I look at it, I really need to find a 1982 small date copper scent in red format because... Uh, that's not as nice as I'd like. But outside of that, we're doing fantastic. Hoping that we can squeeze some out for the album today because it's getting more and more difficult, as I've mentioned in several episodes, which we're not going to bore you with the details. Now, that being said, two box hunt. I got to crack two boxes open. Obviously, I can tell by the holes in the bottom. We've got circulated boxes, so that's good. Let me slide all this stuff out of the way. We'll kick it off with box one, 100 rolls to hunt. Hopefully, we can get to 185 slots filled after these 100 rolls. I'll be back in just a second. All right, let's crack open this first box. I didn't see any wheat scent enders on the bottom of the side of the box. Ooh, this is going to be rough. I didn't see any wheat scent enders on the bottom side of this box, but maybe we'll sneak a peek at one on the top. Yeah, I don't see any weed scent enders. And honestly, it does look like it's going to be a light copper box, maybe. And maybe even a light wheat box if we don't have goodies in these rolls. Because we don't have any enders that I can see. But it's a box to hunt. And that makes me happy. Let's kick right into it. I'll bring you guys in if and when we have a find. Roll number seven will provide us with our very first wheat scent find. And it definitely looks like it's been cleaned or damaged. Hopefully that means it's old. And no, it's just a 1957 damaged Denver. Looks like it's been treated with ketchup or some kind of acidic solution to make it look shiny, which didn't really work. 1957D though, gets us on the board, seven rolls in. Well, we're on roll 23 and it has been a slow box for fines. One wheat scent, one Canadian, and a 59, a little bit of copper. Not much happening, but I've got a 1998 Philadelphia minted scent under the microscope, as you can see right here. And when we flip it around, we definitely have the white AM. You've got a gap between the A and the M instead of them touching, and the FG is close to the building. So we know without a doubt, and I've shown these in other videos, we got a 98 white AM. I do find these periodically. I've found about 20 maybe in my life, so it's always nice seeing them and we'll add it to the collection. That being said, like I said, one wheat scent, rough box so far, although we got a goodie. Roll number 25, the midpoint of the box, and we finally have our second wheat scent. I already saw the year, 1956 Denver. One year older than the last one, but two relatively newer wheat scents, and that's it so far. Roll number 26, and we will have our third wheat scent now, just over halfway through the box. And that's gonna be a 1945, and I don't think there's gonna be a mint mark on it, and there's not. So 1945P, oldest of the box, first from the 40s, but only three finds through 26 rolls. Roll number 27, weed scent number four. Hopefully the box starts to heat up. And that's gonna be a 1949, and I think there's an S mint mark, and there is. 
Nothing special about a 49S, but anytime you get an S mint mark on a wheat scent, at least in my area, makes me happy. Roll 33, wheat scent number five. Another 1945, but this time, Denver. Roll number 39, wheat scent number six. 1946 Denver, so we're playing in the 40s now. Be nice to get in the 30s. Roll number 41, we now have seven wheat cents. Wheat cent number seven, a 53D. Roll 43, and we have somehow made it to eight wheat cents, holding two off double digits after a slow start. And that's a 55 Denver. Roll number 48, and I have no idea why Abe is so sad. He's got a slice of pizza. Well, we finished that first box of this two-box hunt, and we finished with eight wheat cents, nothing older than 1945. So we're at the lower end of my expectations. I like at least eight, hope for 10 or more, obviously. We got eight. But we did get a 98 wide AM for the collection, which is really cool because we just gave away a couple or, or three of them last stream, and we replenished one. Good karma there. One Canadian cent from, I think... 1976, 459s, no bright and shinies, no 69 S's, but pretty good on the copper cup for my boxes. So, good on the copper, a little bit light on the wheats, nice variety found, still another box to hunt. Let me clear all this away. We'll do a live opening on box two next. All right, box number two. Praying for a few more wheat cents, at least 12. That would give us a 10 for box average, but more importantly, Hopefully we find something for the album, if I can open it. All right, a little bit sloppy here, but gets the job done. And maybe an older one there and there, but I don't see any weed scent enders. All right, we'll start cracking rolls. Hopefully we'll add to the board. Hopefully we'll add to the album. I'll see you guys if and when we get a first find in box two. Well, I literally just cracked open the roll, put the wrapper to the side, because as I did it, I could see not only a wheat scent there, but a wheat scent there. And it looks like it's a pretty good copper box. So since I already have you here, let's just check this one too, just in case. That's a 64. All right, first wheat scent of box two, number nine for the hunt, a 52 Denver, and... Double digits found now, number 10, 1946 Denver. All right, good start. Let's find more. Roll 52 of the hunt, and it has been a long time since we found one of these. Take a look at that reverse. It looks fantastic. Holy cow, it's been forever. In front, we have an 81 copper, but we will have an Indian head scent in the box, and it looks good. Probably going to be in the 1906 area, and I was close. 1907, and take a look at this brown Indian head scent. Let's scope this guy. Does have some softness, but we got full Liberty. And we have full diamonds as well. This is a beauty. I would say it's in an AU 53 to 55 range. Man, that is nice. Holy cow. The last few times I have found an Indian head scent in my bank sealed boxes, they've always been corroded and trashy and that is a beauty that's going to be a great find i'm not going to stick it in the album but i am going to put it in a flip holy cow that has basically been left mostly uncirculated and probably in a collection and somehow it was dumped and because we saw that early i'm a little nervous now because we got two wheat cents in roll one and an indian head scent in roll two and typically, if we have a good start or a good finish to a box, typically the box before that is the better box or the box after it. 
The good news is the other box that was damaged was from one bank and this box has a sister box on my floor that I'm using for the next hunt. So depending on how this box does, and I don't want to get overly excited, but I am, we'll have to see what the next box does on the next video. Fingers crossed it's not beginner box luck and it stays hot at least for a portion of it, if not most of it. Wow. I'll take that all day and get back to the hunt. Roll number 53, wheat scent number 11, another 45 Denver. Same roll, wheat scent 12, 57 Denver. Roll 54, wheat scent number 13. That's five in this box already. And that's a 1958 Philly. It's brown, but we're just going to check it really quick. In case it was the DDO, which is almost impossible to find. But viewers always ask, and yes, I look for it. Roll number 59, and we do have another wheat scent finally. It's going to be number 14, and it looks cleaned and old. And that's going to be a 1920. I can't, I don't think that's an S. I know my mind sees an S right here. And it is damaged right there, but I don't think that's a mint mark. I think that's just damaged. My mind's playing tricks on me. I think it's a 1920P. I'll scope it. We don't need a 1920 Philly, but I'm pretty sure we'd need a 1920 San Francisco, but I don't see it. I'll scope it anyway. Nice to see a 20's fine and that Indian. And now with 14 wheat cents, we have six in the first nine rolls. Roll 64, wheat cent number 15, a 1954 Philadelphia. We're on roll number 24 and it's kind of playing out how I thought. We were, had a really hot start. We had six wheat cents for the first nine rolls. This is only our second in the last 15, and it's a 1958 Denver. But we've got eight wheat cents in box two after 24 rolls, and it took us 50 rolls to get eight in box one. Plus, we have an Indian head scent to boot. All right, holding out hope still. Let's keep searching and hopefully finding. Roll 29, wheat cent 17. It's pretty corroded, but I saw four. And I think it's just another 45 Denver. And it is 1945 Denver yet again. Still the oldest of the hunt other than the Indian headset and the 1920p. Nothing in the 30s yet. Roll 81 out of 100. And the second coin in is a wheat scent, almost an ender. It's going to be number 18. And it's a 58 Denver. Roll number 83. Wheat scent number 19. 1951, Denver. Just grabbed roll 85 out of the box and our 20th wheat scent of the hunt is gonna be a 1949 Denver wheat scent ender, I believe. Let's double check it and I'll bring it back in. That wheat scent ender is indeed a 1949 Denver in relatively decent shape. Roll number 90, wheat scent 21. I'm hoping the patina means it's older, but you never know with wheat scents. It's older, 1944 San Francisco. We'll take it. Roll number 93, wheat scent number 22, a 58 Denver. Roll 94, wheat scent number 23, 56 Denver. Roll number 97 will have wheat scent number 24. It looks damaged. It looks corroded. Hopefully, it's old. And it's just another 1945, I think, Denver again. It is. So close. Well, we're on roll number 100, and it looks like we're going to find another one of those Lincoln Kennedy pennies, and this one's 1981. I don't normally see them in the 80s. Typically, they're 73 to 77, I believe, but I'll take it. We found these before. I have a video where I found one of these, and I believe in that video, I even cover a little bit of information on why you find these sometimes in circulation. 
Nice counter strike to add to the finds. We're just about done. I'll be back with the wrap up unless we find something nice. Well, that's gonna do it for that two box hunt, 100 rolls hunted. And you know what? The second box was a really great box. Although the first one was fine as well. Eight finds in the first box with 16 in the second box, as far as wheat cents alone, makes 24 wheat cents. Of course, we got that 98 wide AM, that 1907 Indian head cent. We got that sad Lincoln, and we got that counterstruck Lincoln Kennedy cent as well. We were not able to grab any wheat cents from the 30s, as usual, but we did grab one from the 20s, which is always nice, although I think we already have that one. Unfortunately, when I look at the board, I don't think we have any additions again, although we may have an upgrade, we'll have to see. We got two Canadians, including a 1962 Laureate Portrait or a Young Head as well, and 12 1959s, and for local boxes, I don't get that many anymore, but we did this time. A couple of nice red cents here, a 64D and a 68S, I'll take those and add them to my rolls. No 69 S's in 100 rolls, although I usually get about one per box. We did just about, I'm going to say we did, fill the copper cup as well, and that makes me happy. Let me comb through all the finds, see if we have any additions or upgrades, and bring you guys back with a final look at the album and some final thoughts. Well, we combed through the finds, compared them to the album. Of course, we didn't have any additions, but... We were able to upgrade that 1964D because the one we had in the book had a little bit of damage on it. So that makes me happy that we could upgrade at least one coin after 75 boxes. Of course, after 75 boxes, we're stuck at 183 out of 234. And as you saw yet again, the 30s are proving fatal for me. Man, we cannot find any of the 30s lately. And that's just holding us back because there's a lot of findable cents in the 30s. Although... The ones that I need to find are under a hundred million a piece, which is probably why it's tougher to get them. Either way, it was a fun two box hunt. Man, we added some goodies, especially another 98 wide end with a little bit of environmental damage, but an absolute beauty of a brown, almost mint state Indian head scent. And uh, it might upgrade my Indian head scent collection, which I'll take a look at. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this two box hunt. On top of that, we do have the sister box to this box, and I'll include that with another box in my next episode. If you guys did enjoy the hunt, you know I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as a quick reminder, if you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you consider tapping that subscription button because I release videos almost daily in a lot of different coin denominations and other fun hunts as well. Once again, this is Rob Fine's Treasure. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.